Did you know the modern day fork was invented to eat spaghetti? The king of Naples said, I don't want to eat like the commoners with my hands. He wanted to eat with a fork. And spaghetti carbonara is one of the most loved dishes. And it's so easy and simple to make that it's going to become your favorite weeknight meal. Now, it all starts off with a little pancetta. And this really is loved by all Italians. We love our cured meats, but especially pancetta. It's gonna crisp up and it's gonna give you the most delicious snack <laughs> as you're making the dish too. <laughs> and if you don't have pancetta at home, you can always use a bacon. You can use prosciutto in this as well. I love getting the pancetta all crisped up. And I don't need too much olive oil in the pan. Remember, that pancetta is gonna really release so much oil and flavor. Now the smell that's gonna fill up your kitchen, <laughs> hard to describe how really good it is. Wow. And look at that, they're crisping up these cute little bits. And I wait until about now before I add in my garlic. Remember, you can't have any burnt garlic. Of course, a little salt in the water adds flavor to the pasta itself. And spaghetti really is one of my favorite cuts of pasta. It's long and fun to eat. Nice rolling boil, and in it goes. And one of the reasons why this is gonna be your favorite weeknight meal is because everything cooks at the same time. My garlic is browning up while my spaghetti is cooking. And in just a couple of minutes, this is all gonna come together. How do you know pasta's ready? Taste it. And Italians love their pasta al dente, or still with a little bite to it. Perfect. And now, watch how it all comes together. Now, in any white sauce, I love adding just a little bit of nutmeg. It picks up all those flavors, highlights them, it makes people wonder, hmm, what is that little flavor in the background? Cheeses I'm using in this dish are a mix of two. Two classics, Parmigiano de Chiano and a little Pecorino Romano. And this here is a sheep's milk cheese. And Pecorino Romano, unlike Parmigiano, has a little bit more of a tangy flavor. And I love it in this dish. Now, I give it a quick little toss. And I get this right off the heat to make that creamy sauce. Now, surprise, surprise, there is no cream in a spaghetti carbonara. But I'm gonna show you how we make this really creamy and silky. Simple, just an egg. Now the trick to stirring this egg in is using a little bit of this pasta water and slowly add it into the egg. All this is doing is getting the egg used to that nice hot spaghetti temperature. Look how nice and silky that is. Now, watch the magic happen. And I like to keep on stirring just to make sure that the egg is constantly moving around. Doesn't it look like it just added a big bowl of cream? Wow. No salt goes into this dish, but I like a little extra cracked pepper. I can't wait to take a bite of this. Look at those creamy noodles. Little parsley. What can I say? Spaghetti alla carbonara. Wow. Creamy, with that little salty and crunchy bite from the pancetta. 